Itori. Fist bump. And we're about to start our third match of the night. With the iconic BBL Drizzy tag, we've got Min Min versus Piranha Plant. This is going to be a war of attrition here. Whoever gets an advantage is really going to have to fight hard to keep it. All right, starting off, we've got the typical Min Min affair. Using those arms to keep people at a distance. The Dragon and the Ram Ram combo. One of them knocks you over, the other one hits you hard. And speaking of hard hitting, we've got one of the most iconic commentators of our region, Mega Man Extraordinaire, Mega Ant-Man, whose mic is now on. You said iconic? Yes, iconic. It's one of the most iconic words people can use to describe someone. And speaking of describing, what kind of combo was that? I can't even imagine it. Speaking of iconic, Yusup down B. Yeah, Yusup down B, Yusup Patui. It's like, Whoa. name a more iconic combo than Patui and down B. More like peanut butter and jelly, am I right? Like, You know, yeah. he, he hit me with like four down Bs in a row once and I almost brought back a set. It was crazy. Yeah. He's a... He's got that unlocked. Anyway, speaking of iconic, I gotta go, actually. Oh, I was just called. So. Okay, well, we'll see you on commentary later, but we'll see you on stream soon. Good luck. And good luck to Habibi, because this edge guard just won't stop. All right. Trying to open up some kind of advantage, and it looks like Habibi, with the iconic BBL Drizzy tag, is about to start something. Piranha plants at kill percent. But that also means that Piranha Plant's got lots of rage and those Fatuis are going to start hitting harder. And you've got to make sure that you don't get tricked by the fake Fatui spitouts. You've got to make sure that your getup options are safe and not too committal. And this could be it. In moments like this, Piranha Plant really has to try hard not to get caught by some of the arms. And in moments like those, you really got to use things like Ram Ram. They're a lot less committal, they're a lot quicker. Because in a situation like this, you've got a Piranha Plant with full rage, but that's a double-edged sword because now Yusuf is finally down his first stock. Let's see if Habibi can close the gap and potentially stop the bleeding. Okay. And another edge guard situation. And back air hits. This is going to be deadly. And unfortunately, couldn't stall long enough off stage to get away from Yusuf and get back to the stage. See, this is one of those matchups where you'd think that it would be in Min Min's favor. She's a DLC character. She keeps people out. But Piranha Plant isn't necessarily an up-close fighter. He's a nickel and dime kind of guy where he'll throw something out from mid-distance, hit you with a fast dash attack, and all of a sudden you're at 40-something percent. He doesn't always need to get into play as optimal as he needs to do. Okay, Yusuf trying to get a little bit of spot dodge reads, maybe hit the Patui. And now out of resources, but didn't get hit by the Ram Ram. Still off stage though, because Min Min edge guards don't stop. Even on stage, you're getting edge guarded by Min Min. Oh, and misses the dash attack, and misses the Megawatt. Oh god, this is the potential for um, a kill. Wow, even though the game started off pretty one-sided in Yusuf's favor, it's actually kind of even now. Looks like, yep, okay, Habibi got the memo and is starting to run away and run around Yusuf. And looks like the edge guard has finally started. Even if you don't get the two frame, or as I like to call it, Mimin reaches under the stage and hits you before you grab the ledge, you can still keep Piranha Plant off stage and fight him at the ledge. You don't need to give up and run to center stage. And Habibi's finally figured that out. And we're starting to just keep the pressure on. Knowing that Piranha Plant doesn't have the move speed to challenge that and has to do something committal like down B, which thankfully doesn't get Yusuf killed. Not yet. There's one more chance at redemption here, one more chance at a potential comeback. But Yusuf needs to get his feet on the ground and can't keep opening himself up with those down Bs. And if there is a chance of redemption, it's not this game. It's going to go in game two, where I feel like Habibi already needed the time to figure out exactly what Yusuf's plan was in this first game. Slowing things down, not running in and trying to force some kind of advantage, but sitting back, waiting for Yusuf to overextend, and then weave punishing and whiff punishing. So, yeah, that's a hype Min Min moment right there. Obviously, Yusuf, character loyalist, 
So we're going to see the iconic, and yes, I said iconic before, but it really is the iconic piranha plant of our region, along with Lugia, Three, fight two, Habibi. One, go. All right, I will commentate this first stock and then I must go play video games. But we're seeing Habibi pull off more of the things that we saw win them game one. Just staying away, controlling the area from a safe distance and not letting Yusuf in. And I think they're finally starting to figure out how to use that Ram Ram to keep them off stage. Up smashes to keep them away whenever they get in the range. Ooh, but that grab might have been getting a little too froggy. Ooh, great. I thought there were, I thought Habibi was gonna go for another grab to potentially try getting them. But glad they recognized that Min Min's grab isn't that fast, but you know what is? Megawatt. So let's see it continue going as we see the first stock. Oh, what? All right, well, that was the first stock. Good luck to Habibi and Yusuf. 